Brachot, page 30 of the Mishnah. Today we're going to discuss a very practical Brachot when it's come to the Geirut, the law of conversion. What happens in certain scenarios when our candidate has some part of the mitzvot that he or she do not want to accept upon themselves and also the form of Haverim. People in our modern la language wants to be a member of certain exclusive club. <coughs> in the Talmudic days, excuse me, it was different. It was highest respected rabbinic group. Therefore, they have to accept upon themselves certain point of stringencies that was not applied to average people and more. We start with the Mishnah dealing with the issue of um, suspicion. Hechashud al one who is suspect with regard to observ observing the sabbatical year, the, sh the Shemitah, meaning the Chazonish explain, even in a way the words come out. Aruch HaShulchan also explained it. Aruch HaShulchan Atid in Zra'im. As long as is the word out and saying that he is um, kind of a um, person that belittled that law of Shvi'it, then um, you have issue with that. Is, is, uh, now the thing is, the Rishonim disputed if those people who are not educated, Amea Aretz, if we still suspected them when it's come to the sabbatical year. Rashi said yes, others said not always. Anyway, hechashud al shviit, a no hechashud al maasrot. One who suspect with regard to obse the observing on the um, sabbatical year is not suspect with regard to tithes. Hechashud al maasrot, a no hechashud al shviit. Vice versa, one who suspected over giving the tithe is not suspected with uh, regard to sabbatical year. Hechashud al ze al ze, one who suspected on both. So, in a sense, the, um, most of the rabbis uh, said that it's not, it's the way Tiferet Israel said, it's either. But anyway, chashud ala ta'arot. So we suspected that, um, we, uh, we suspect with regard to selling ritually impure food as though they were ritually pure items. Unfortunately, in the business world, you know that people who owns those supermarkets and other um, retail stores sometimes are not so truthful over their products. So here people can basically say that it's ritually pure, why it's not. It can be a situation that one individual is suspect with regard to ritual or pure item but it's not suspect with regard to the sabbatical year. Zeaklal, this is the very basic principle. Hechashud al davar lo dano velo imaydo, meaning anyone who is suspect with regard to a specific matter may neither a, um, adjudicate cases nor testify in cases involving this matter because again the question is um, how far you go, so um, if one matter applies to others. So since the, um, we don't have name of who said all this statement, as you know, Stam Mishnah, we go in general, this follow Rabbi Meir, and the Ramban said that basically the Halakha follow his view. Soon you see that it's a uh, big discussion, especially in regards to anyone who suspects with regard to a specific matter, may neither um, adjudicate cases nor testify. The Gemara asks a question, basic question, what's the reason? Both the law of Shemitah and the law of Ma'asrod giving tithe are biblical. So why, if you tell me one is suspected in one matter, he's not suspected the other? The Gemara answer and said, Shvi'it lo baya choma. When it's come to the sabbatical year, you do not have to have it inside the city of Yerushalayim. Anyone can eat perot shmita anywhere. Ma'aser keivan de ba'ei choma. 
since you need to eat Maaser Sheni, the second tithe, only inside the walls of Yerushalayim, Chamirle, it carry more stringencies, and consequently, it may happen that people are more circumscribed, um, in a sense, they are limited, their um, um, expansions, they go only inside the uh, Yerushalayim only, and therefore they are more careful uh, when it's come to Ma'asro, the law of tithe, much more than the law of Shemitah, the Rosh, Rabbeinu Asher, expand on that. And he said that it is not to compare by any things, uh, by any means, Ma'asro Shini, the second tithe to Shvi'it. Obviously, uh, it's not, but usually people who are very strict following all the dinim, all the halachot, involve with Ma'asir Shani, um, um, we assume that they are very careful in the as well because of the nature and the way that they um, uh, learn and observe all these rules. The Mishnah teaches us one who is suspect with regard to the tight is not suspect with regard to the sabbatical year, my tama, the reason for that they ask, maaser itlei pidyon. They say that when it's come to the tight, there is a redemption for tight. One might treat them lightly. Shviit kevan de kam mitasralei velet le pidyon chamiralei. When it's come to the sabbatical year, since it's always prohibited to him, and there is no redemption of it. It is possible that it seems more stringent for him, and therefore he is not suspect. The Mishnah continues and said, one who suspect with regard to this, which is sabbatical year, or with regard to that, which is tight, is not suspect with regard to selling ritually impure foods, as though they were ritually pure items. Since he is suspect over something that's biblical, for sure, uh, we are suspected with the God of matter that it's a rabbinic decree. Um, so they, um, so as a result, it's certainly, um, we cannot trust it with regard to uh, this. And there are those who are suspect with regard to ritually pure items, who are not suspect with regard to this, which is sabbatical year. Or regard to that which is tight, my tama, the reason. The Gemara said, Nehiya de Rabbanan Hashid, Aoraita lo Hashid. Because he is suspected of violation of rabbinic law, but he is not suspected with regard to the prohibition that are by Torah law. So the Gemara asks for Amini. It's a contradiction from a Braita. Neeman al Atarot, Neeman al Shvi'it. You said that the, the, we hold that one, if one is trusted with regard to ritually pure item, he is trusted with regard to produce of the sabbatical year. So we can infer from that, that um, if he is suspect with regard to ritually pure item, he is likewise suspect with regard to produce of the sabbatical year. Here's the Rosh here. Anyway. Just the, country, the, the opposite way. One is trusted with regard to ritual pure item. is trusted with the uh, product of the sabbatical year. So you derive from that ha hashid hashid. If he is suspect with regard to ritually pure item, he is likewise suspect with regard to produce of the sabbatical year. Amar Rabbi Eli matniting shirinuhu shenoheg betzina betoch beito. Here the Mishnah speaks about a person that he is not. Um, uh, suspected over sabbatical year and tight because it's a uh, yeah, testimony they see him that he observe in the um, private way both Shemitah and Masrot 
in his home, since he himself is known to be trustworthy in regard to these matters in private, he is not suspected of violating these prohibitions in his business, despite his lack of trustworthiness with regard to ritual purity. As we said earlier, the Chazonish expand a lot to that. But anyway, Rabbi Yanai Rabbi Shmuel Amar Kegon Dava Chashid Litravayu, Vada Kamei Rabbanan VeKabilat Ravayu. Someone who suspected the both, he came before the sages and he accepted upon himself both. And VeHadar Ichashad Echad Menayu. But then, unfortunately, he was suspected with regard to one of them. So the reason for the halacha here is that we say. Since he's suspected with regard to this one, he's also suspected with the other one. So, so he said this applies to unattributed Mishnah that Rabbi Akiva say, said. However, Chachamim, uh, which soon you see it's, uh, Rabbi, uh, what Rabbi Yochanan mentioned, is Rabbi Yuda, Disputed and say that one who suspected um, with regard to produce of the sabbatical year is suspect with regard to tithe. The Gemara ask Man Chachamim, who are those sages that Rabbi Yochanan refer here to, and he said Rabbi Yochan, Rabbi Yuda, it is Rabbi Yuda that said that people usually are um, much uh, cautious, much uh, uh, circumspect when it's come to the Shemitah, much more than the Masrot. But the place that Rabbi Yudah located, they consider produce of the sabbatical year and especially stringent prohibition. So therefore, if a resident of that place was suspect with regard to the sabbatical year, he was certainly not trusted with tight. The Dayarta. So and, and the, if a certain person who's called to another a convert, son of a female convert, wishing in a way to insult him. So there are a few ways. There is one Rashi that said that son of converts, there is a Kaftor of Ferach that said that priest, son of a priest. And there is a big question if this um, uh, really uh, denigrating the person or uh, if someone is going to Bot 11 said that his mother just by her conversion and he was a little one, it was for him. But anyway, so they said, Amar lei, teiti lei de lo achle perot shvit kvatach. So they said to him in reply, I have a blessing coming to me, as I do not eat produce of the sabbatical year like you do. So this indicates that the uh, accusation of eating produce of the sabbatical year was a great insult, since they treated the sabbatical year stringently. Another version of Rabbi Yochanan, Ika de Amri, there are those who bring the Rabbi Yochanan view as the following Nusach. Amar Rabbi Baba Barchana, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Zodivrei Rabbi Akiva, Stimta. This is the word of unattributed to Rabbi Akiva. You see it in the other places in the Shas as well. Aval Chachamim Omrim, Chashud ala Maser, Chashud ala Shvi'it. The sages hold, one who suspects in regards to the tithe is also and produce, suspect of the produce of the sabbatical year. And um, they ask a question, Man Chachamim, who are these sages that Rabbi Yochan refers to? So according to this, it's Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Meir de Amar, that's the bride that we're going to see in the second part of this daf. Chashul devar echad have a chashul lechol Torah kula. One who is suspect with regard to one matter, regardless to the level of stringency, he is also um, he is suspect with regard to the entire to Torah, even sabbatical year. It's much stringent than giving tight. Rabbi Yona and Rabbi Yirmiya, Talmidei Rabbi Zera, and Amrei La Rabbi Yona and Rabbi Zera, Talmidei Rabbi Yochanan. So in the books, Toldot Anayim and Amoraim, said that if Rabbi Yona was a student of Rabbi Yochanan or a student of Rabbi Zera, but anyway, they disputed. Chad Amar, one said. Um, which is Rabbi uh, the Rabbi Yochanan said, "Aval Chachamim Omrim." However, the sages will say, "Chashud al Shviit," one who is suspect with regard to the to produce of the sabbatical year. Page thirty B, Chashud al Maaser is suspect with regard to tithe. 
Uman Chachamim, and who are the sages referred here as rabbis that Rabbi Yochanan referred to? Rabbi Yuda. Because it's, uh, he's located, um, 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 they treated the prohibition of produce, as we said earlier, of the sabbatical year, stringently. Vechadamar and Rabbi Yochanan hold, the sages hold, Echashud al Maaser, Echashud al Ashviit. One who suspected the ties, suspected on the sabbatical year produce. Uman Chachamim, who are the Chachamim, the sages Rabbi Yochanan referred to. Rabbi Meir, and now we we'll bring it to Sefta in the Mai, the Tanya. Ama Aretz, Shekibel Lav Chavirut. The subject of Ama Aretz, we discussed a lot in the past. It's basically someone who's uneducated, and the problem with them, we cannot trust them when it comes to the uh, ritual impure, only if we accept upon himself membership or divrei chavirut, those stringencies that the Tosefta instructed the Mai spell out clearly that um, he should com uh, do not touch any produce that pure together with the fellow Ama Aretz, um, that he should eat his non-sacred produce in the state of impure, uh, state of purity and to tithe whatever he eat, sell or buy, Rashi explained. So, one who accepts upon himself, the Chajunish said, it's, it's like a membership with all the, the um, involvement. So they said, Ama Aretz shekibel alav divrei chaverut. So, Ama Aretz, which one, one is unreliable with regard to ritual impurity and tithe, who accept upon himself the commitment to observe the matter associated with Chaver, which is that he will be stringent in all matter observed by Chaverim, including Truma, tithe, and Chala, and also undertake to, end, to eat only food that is ritually pure, and the sages accept him as trustworthy. But subsequently he was suspected with regard to one matter in which others saw him act improperly. Rabbi Meir said that he suspected with regard to the entire Torah, he cannot trust him. Uh, it's expansion of why and how. Um, it's a lot of uh, rabbinic likutei arachot and other sources that involve in Chok Matan, Chok Mat Shlomo, and other try to explain why and how far you go with this. It's also a fair name. The sages says, no, he, he, we understand that you suspected him over something, but his suspicion, the, the why you suspected him, only with regard to that particular matter, but not the entire Torah. Now we deal with a very sensitive subject, which is the Kabbalat Geirut. Um, again, before we go further, I want to make a very clear disclaimer that one should never pass in halachot, should not rule just by listening to the shiur today, but go to a very well-respected, prominent community, posek, um, uh, that well-respected uh, halachic authority rabbi, to rule in each of this matter. And this, this is which we call in our world le'orer, just to study the daf. Anyway. הגר שקיבל לב דברי תורה אפילו נחשב לדבר אחד, הווה חשוד לכל התורה כולה. Fellow is a, is a potential convert. He comes to us and he wants to be part of Jewish faith and Jewish destiny, but he um, or she, in that sense, accept upon uh, himself only, uh, I meant the whole concept of שמירת uh, תורה ומצוות and קבלת עול מצוות and more. However, in one matter, they declare in advance that no, that mitzvah, I'm not going to do it. So unfortunately, we have to reject that candidate. And therefore, we say that you cannot um, treat him as a um, serious candidate for conversion. In a sense, is like a, a Jewish transgressor who habitually transgresses the mitzvot. Nafkamina di kadish kiddushab kiddushin. Unfortunately, there is a nafkamina, there is an important matter in halacha that if he betrothed a woman, his betrothal is valid betrothal, 
and they are married. Although he is suspect with regard to the entire Torah, he does not return to his prior non-Jewish status. And as we said, um, there is a lot of Nafkamina Balacha, there's a Rambam on that, and it's a Yosef Dat, and much more. Um, just a little vignette is from the Yoedeah, from the Code 268. If a convert was not examined properly by the rabbinic court, or if the mitzvot and their punishments were not made known to him, and he was uh, circumcised and immersed in a ritual bath before three members of the court, he is a valid convert, even if he subsequently returns to his previous ways and engages in idol worship, he is a Jew, and therefore if he betrothes a Jewish woman, his betrothal is valid. That's the Rambam, Ilchot Yisurabiyah, chapter 13, as well as the Shulchan Aruch Yoredeah, 268. תנור הבנן הבא לקבל דברי חברות חוץ מדבר אחד, אין מקבלים אותו. The sages teach us in case of one fellow who comes to accept upon himself the commitment to observe the matter associated with Haver status, but he said, one matter I can do. So Rabbeinu Gershom explained to us and he said, look, the moment he said, one thing I cannot do it, so we assume that other things it's not going to do as well. Um, but as we learn in Mishnah in Demai, that when it's come to just specific matter like Masrot, it is possible. But anyway, Rabbi Yosei Rabbi Yudah Omer, Afilu Dikduk Echad Midivrei Sofrim. He said, even if he refuses to accept one detail of Rabbinic law, he's not accepted. Now, the Bet Yitzchak have a discussion when it's come B'diavad. So he said that it's not accepted. The late Rabbi Moshe Feinstein discussed it, Lorot Natan, many others have discussion how far, if time allows, we'll go a little bit to that later. V'chen ben Levi, sheba lekabel divrei Leviya, Chutz mi davar echad, some said without parentheses, and mekablim oto. I must say that this subject over my 25 years in this country, in Rabinit, it's a very serious, painful subject. I wish people take it the way it should be, and serious manner the way it should be done, the way they, our sages instructed us. But anyway, v'kohen sheba lekabel divrei kuna, chutz mi davar echad mekablim oto, shenemar amakri v'dam ashlamim. העבודה המסורה לבני אהרון, כל כהן שאינו מודה בה, אין לו חלק בכהונה. תנו רבנן הבא לידי לקבל דברי חברות עם ראינו שנוהג בצנעה בתוך ביתו, מקבלים אותו, ואחר כך מלמדים אותו. ואם לאו מלמדים אותו, ואחר כך מקבלים אותו. רבי שמעון בן יוחא אומר, בין כך ובין כך מקבלים אותו, והוא למד כדרכו והולך. So, the חבר, you learn from others how to observe. He show, he show the, the depth and the wisdom and the, and the understanding of our sages. Anyway, the third bright, Atanu Rabbanan, Mekablim Lichnefayim Bachag Mekablim Batarot. Vim Amar, Eni Mekabel Al Lichnefayim Mekablim Oto. Kibel Atarot Velo Kibel Lichnefayim, Aftarot Lo Kibel. Atanu Rabbanan, Kama Mekablim Oto. It's another serious question. What the time frame? So, Bet Shemayim Uri Lemashkin Shloshim Yom, Lechsut Shnei Masar Chodesh, Ubele Tumrim, Echad Zeh, Vechad Zeh, Lishnei Masar Chodesh. Vim Ken, Ave Mekul Lebet Shemayim, Bechum Uri Tilel, Abet Yil Omrim, Echad Zeh, Vechad Zeh, Lishloshim. Now I, the Gemara, provide a mnemonic for all this serious subject of seven brighter that dealing with Kabbalat Chaverut. Siman Chaver Talmid Chelet Meches Chazar Gabay Be'atzmo. Tanu Rabban Al-Bal Kabel Divrei Chaverut, Tzach Lekabel Bifnei Shlosha Chaverim. The requirement is to have present of three Chaverim. Uvanav Uvnei Veto, Enan Tzachim Lekabel Bifnei Shlosha Chaverim. Since he already instructed them and followed them. They follow him, I meant. Rabban Shimon Gamliel Omer, No, Av Banav Uvnei Veto, Tzachim Lekabel Bifnei Shlosha Chaverim, 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 Bifnei Shlosha הבא לקבל דברי חברות צריך לקבל אותם בפני שלושה חברים, ואפילו תלמיד חכם צריך לקבל בפני שלושה חברים, even a Torah scholar require three. זקן ויושב בישיבה, if you have elderly person who is in a Sanhedrin, meaning he teach Torah to public, that's different, and not צריך לקבל בפני שלושה חברים, שקיבל עליו 
שכבר קיבל המשעה שישב. The moment he start dwelling in Sanhedrin, otherwise he will not be accepted in Sanhedrin in the first place. אבא שאול אומר, אף תמיד חכם, אינו צריך לקבל בפני שלושה חברים ולא יודע שאחרים מקבלים לפניו. אומר רבי יוחנן מבני בנו של רבי חנינה בן אנטיגנוס, נשנת משנה זו רבי יהודה, סדת משנה זו, רבנו גרשום סד, the condition of the three. רבי יהודה ורבי יוסי הסתפק לאומי לטה בתארות, שדו רבנן לגבי בנו של רבי חנינה בן אנטיגנוס. אם הוא ללעיין בה, אז הוא אשכחו עד הקטעין תארות, אותי ורבנן מדידי לגביו. shows how they have עמקות and רצינות בלימוד, that he left his load. and wants to focus וכאילו ליוניבי, he wants to really to stand and examine this matter seriously. עתו אמרו לו הוא עולה לרבי יהודה ורבי יוסי. אמר לו רבי יהודה, אביו של זה ביזה תמיד החכמים אופן וזה תמיד החכמים. So Rashi here, it's a different views, what does that mean? Rashi said that it never happened, it's just expression of anger. See Rashi said, אגב רתחי כאמר ולא היא. The Tosfot said that uh, because it was it nagut mezalzelet, it was degradation, some type of behavior. So um, Ado said that because the father did not have the respect and teach that respect, so that's it's like almost a perpetuation of behavior. Amar al Rabbi kvod zaken, meaning father and the son, yehem unach bimkomo, ela. מיום שחר בית המקדש נהגו קונים סלסול בעצמם, which means they don't, they לא סומכים על כל אחד, they don't trust everyone, they, they in a way, they're not pass ritually pure item to any other person. שאין מוסרים את כל הערות לכל אדם. third bright, התנור רבנו החבר שמת, אשתו ובניו ובני ביתו הרי מחזקתם עד שיחס שדו. וכן חצר שמוכרים לתכלת, הרי בחזקתה עד שתיפסל תנור רבנן. אשת עם הארץ שנישאת לחבר וכן, ביתו של עם הארץ שנישאת לחבר וכן, עבדו של עם הארץ שנמכר לחבר, כולם צריכים לקבל דברי חברות בתחילה. Otherwise, how you, you need to trust them, so you need to go to a whole dual process in that sense. Rashi comments that כתחילה, כבתחילה, אבל יש את חבר שנישאת לעם הארץ וכן, ביתו של חבר שנישאת לעם הארץ וכן, עבדו של חבר שנמכר לעם הארץ, אין צריכים לקבל דברי חברות בתחילה. They remain in their status. Um, but as long as they dwell in the house of Amaretz, everyone said that they're not in the Emanim, not trust. Rabbi Meir Omer, even if you want to get a word to you, it's beginning. Rabbi Shimon Ben Lazar Omer, Mishum Rabbi Meir, Maaseh Bishachat, she nisset lechaver, it was a case of certain woman who married to a chaver, v'aita komart lo tfinil yado, and will tie for him tfilin on his hand. So, so the, the big discussion among the Rishonim, if the mitzvah and the filling can be done um, by that way that the wife help him in some cases to, to put it on. So it's Rak Mesayah. He said to him, and 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 he said to him,